Nowadays, if you don't have a business online, you don't have a business. Liquid hydrogen. Why are we using liquid hydrogen? This is not how Apollo did it. Solar cells, because we want to be able to survive the lunar night. It's what's used to lower things off of the deck under the surface of the moon. This is an incredible vehicle, and it's going to the moon. Now that we have mapped the entire moon in great detail, we can use those pre-existing maps to tell the system, it's a machine learning system, to tell the system what it should be looking for in terms of craters and other features, and it navigates relative to that. It's time to go back to the moon, this time to stay. I'm excited to announce that we have put together a national team to go back to the moon. And this is the kind of thing, it's so ambitious, it needs to be done with partners. But this is the only way to get back to the moon fast. And this time we're going back to the moon and we're not going back to the moon to visit, we're going back to the moon to stay. And we want to have a civilization of growth and dynamism, which means we need to be able uh, to expand out into the solar system. There are so many resources there that we can continue to do interesting things and continue to use large amounts of energy and so on. It's just we probably can't do that on this planet. So my long-term prediction, and this is gonna take hundreds of years, so don't worry prematurely, Earth will end up being zoned residential and light industry. Um, and all the heavy industry will be done in space. What we need is to reuse the hardware over and over and over again. And it can't be fake reusability where you bring the vehicle back and inspect everything, x-ray everything, disassemble everything, and then put it all back together. That's not real reusability. You have to land, refuel, and fly again. Our ability to get into Earth orbit is kind of right on the edge of what's possible, even when you do it in an expendable fashion. So when you add the extra mass and systems, landing gear, and so on required for reusability, you're making your engineering challenge even harder, but it's worth it and it's possible and that's what we need to achieve. So that's why I got, why I started Blue Origin. It's, a, it, I think it's the most important work I'm doing if I look over the really long term. Well, we're very proud to have you and your great stars associated with RKO Radio Pictures. Well, we're very proud to be with RKO. Would you like to meet your new stars? I certainly would. Of course, you know this fella here, Mickey Mouse, you know. Hello, Mickey. Say hello to Mr. Aylesworth, Mickey. Hello, Mr. Aylesworth. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> In 2003, Jeff Bezos named Walt Disney as one of his heroes. He was fascinated with how the animation industry pioneer came up with the electronics and animatronics used in Disney World in Orlando, Florida. Bezos admired the way Disney had a powerful vision and did everything to build his dream. He said, the best thing that always amazed me was how powerful his vision was. He knew exactly what he wanted to build and teamed up with a bunch of really smart people and built it. Well, I think what you're starting to see is some real differentiation between internet companies that are trying to build lasting companies, and I certainly consider Amazon.com one of those, and companies that were trying to build stocks, trying to ride the momentum of the internet. And so one of the things that you see, for example, is a lot of internet companies now raising prices 
realizing that the things they were doing before just weren't sustainable. It, at Amazon, we're actually lowering prices. Uh, we just reviewed our top 1,000 best-selling electronics and actually decided our prices were too high. We're lowering those. So we're actually doing the opposite. And I think you're going to see a lot of differentiation there. Companies like Amazon.com working to build important, lasting companies, not sort of flash-in-the-pan Internet stock. The CIA has signed a huge $600 million contract with Amazon Web Services for cloud computing. This encouraged trust in Bezos. It's easy to put up a website, but it's hard to make it really good, and it's hard to make sure that the stuff arrives in good condition, on time, as ordered, so it's sort of the reliability of the end-to-end -end customer experience. Well, certainly it'll get less fascinating and new, just like, you know, space shuttle launches don't get covered the same way they used to, and so the e-commerce the e is new, it is important, and that's why people are so interested in it. But it will become an important part of the economy. And one of the, the new things that's happening is more and more people are figuring out how to sell online. And it's getting easier and easier for people to sell online. Just yesterday, we announced Amazon.com auctions. And, there's, and basically, that makes it possible for millions of people to sell their own stuff online at Amazon.com, where there's lots of traffic. His perseverance and patience. The empire he built wasn't made in one day. It took Amazon 26 years to get where it is today.